Have you ever had a Facebook memory trigger? So often, you know, we get to our Facebook page and unsuspectingly, there's a reminder of something that happened and possibly with someone that you're no longer with. This can cause a trigger. Today started out as just an ordinary day. Um, middle of winter, nothing abnormal, nothing too crazy. I did have a very special day planned, a busy day, a day where I was going to record a course. It's going to be about how to change the story and stop the triggers. So as I sat there recording this video, I never expected what was going to happen next. I was happy with myself that I had completed recording a course and that most of the hard work was done. So I went to Facebook to post a picture and accept new Facebook members. And as that happened, I never expected that my course was going to come to life. That trigger that I had just been talking about for the last four hours in a video suddenly there was a trigger, a Facebook post that they were reminding me of that happened nine years ago. Nine years. I was with my husband and his family. Nine years is almost as long as it was that our marriage lasted. And here was this trigger. You know the fear that grips your heart and your throat and travels down and sucks all the blood out of your legs. That trigger where the memory of, uh-oh, what am I going to see? Or what is it going to bring back? The way I looked at it now, I realized, was probably not the same way I would have looked at it maybe four years ago. But... It was like all of the emotion was gone. And then I learned things. There was a lesson. If I can, I'm going to tell you how and what went through my mind and how I processed this. Let's remember this story. As we first arrived at the National Park in Igazu Falls, Argentina, you could hear a roar. It was in the distance from our hotel room, but you could hear it. And as you started to walk down the path and over a few bridges, you could hear what you didn't see yet. You could actually start to smell it, and the humidity in the air was incredible. We were in a rainforest after all. I've never seen anything like this. This is probably my favorite view of all of the pictures that I found on that Facebook post. This image is you are in a horseshoe of waterfalls with waterfalls above you, all around you, and down below. It was breathtaking and I was on that bridge. There were little waterfalls and how did I process this Facebook trigger? That's really the question here. I could have gone and gotten all upset. I could have allowed that trigger and that initial wave over my body from the heart beating and the chest gripping and the legs dripping with no blood. I could have let that take over the moment. But I sat and I looked at the photos and I remembered the beauty, things I've never seen in my life. As you walked along this path through the forest, you would come around a curve and see something else more magnificent. This bridge went right up to the water's edge. And I remember my husband held my head under the water so I got really wet. And then as we kept on looking at the pictures, I remembered the scenes and I wasn't thinking of those horrible beasts that I was no longer a family member of. The anger and the hurt wasn't there. Instead, I saw beauty. And that was good. That's the first thing I felt. That's the first thing I saw. 
I remember these subtropical places with waterfall after waterfall. And then I started to remember beyond the beauty, what was that trip like? Besides something that I will always be grateful for, besides the lessons that I can now say I learned on that trip because of this Facebook post. Had I not gone back into the archives for nine years, I wouldn't have remembered that Igazoo Falls had the most unusual creatures. I don't even know what that little dude is, but they were all over the place. Big parrots were sitting up in the trees, making noises and cooing down at us. And at one point, we were walking through this section with billions of butterflies. They were all over the ground from the few people who had walked before us. They were all over, some alive, some dead. They were landing in your hair and on your arms, very much like the Birds movie. This is a picture, as I was taking picture of some butterflies, of one landing right on my camera, and my husband came up and took a picture. The butterflies were amazing. They were something I've never seen. Talk about a live butterfly, you know, museum or pavilion as we have here in Colorado. These were magnificent creatures, things I've never seen. There was this little fuzzy caterpillar dude, and as I took this picture, I remember our guide came up to us and told me that this little caterpillar was actually a poison caterpillar. And it was a good thing that I didn't let him crawl on my hand. And he advised me to walk away. The creatures weren't the only things that were kind of weird in this forest, this rainforest in Igazoo Falls. What was happening with my husband's family was amazing. And this Facebook post reminded me of it. There's 48 pictures in this Facebook post. And there's not one single picture of family. Sure, I've got some pictures printed out. But, in fact, my ex-husband destroyed all 10 years of our marriage's pictures. The digital ones. I got the, the photo albums that he didn't have time or energy to go digging through the, the basement to, to destroy. But he did destroy all of our, like, mega, mega memories. And here was this Facebook poll to reminding me that even then, I had to hide that I was with them. I wasn't allowed to show them on Facebook. And there were reasons. They were hiding from their family and being very disrespectful by not telling them that they were there and could visit with their own kids. The whole thing was suspicious and I had to keep secrets. I never really understood why I always got so sick on these magical trips. But the secrets I was being forced to keep all came out in this Facebook post. How could I have lived so long being hidden but then I kept looking at the pictures and I kept looking at the wonder that I saw. No two waterfalls the same. A third of that waterfall is equal to Niagara Falls and it went on for miles. We walked with a guide. We traveled by bus, just our little family. My husband had bought all this expensive equipment to, to take on this trip and take pictures. So therefore, in this mist, our little guide would walk beside us holding an umbrella over our head. I laugh now at the fact that we weren't living like the regular part of the world. This was really special. And so, instead of holding the memory of the horrible things that happened after this trip, I turned it around and I, I, I got that lesson that I wasn't seeing, that I was being abused by being hidden. This is a very common trait with narcissists and sociopaths. You know, if, if you're dating someone and, and, and they won't 
let you post pictures of them on Facebook. Red flag. If they won't claim you as their own, and, and here I was married to them, and yet I had to live in this world of secrets. There were so many secrets. But this beauty, I'm appreciative towards. I can look back at this, turn that story of anger and hurt and betrayal into just appreciation and the lesson. There's two parts there, right? This course that I just put together is teaching people this exact technique and the reasons that the things that go through our head actually injure ourselves. So we can protect ourselves going forward by learning to turn the story around, learning to control our emotions and extract, kind of like Dumbledore in, in um, Harry Potter, remember? There was that big pool. It was almost like a bird feeder, like fountain. And they would put like a drop in and extract a memory and just take out the lesson. Just take out what you need to learn and you won't be hurt anymore. This course that I've been recording today was just proof to me to look a little further at everything. And nine years later, do you think I should be triggered? No. You never know when something's going to happen. And that initial, oh no, turned into, that was a really good thing. And I could forget the hurt. You'll get there someday. I know you will. But don't give up hope. And, and just know that when these triggers happen and these memories come flooding back, probably from Facebook, maybe there'll be something else that triggers you. It, it could be a smell or a snowfall. Whatever it is that triggers you, you have to learn the skills to make it not injure yourself and keep yourself safe. This is Tracy. If you've never been to my website before, visit NarcissistAbuseSupport.com. I hope to launch this course in the next week or so. So we're in January. Um, so check it out. I'll put the link up above and learn how when these triggers come, you can take control you can just be at peace. It's so important. It's how we're going to heal, guys. This is Tracy, and that's all I've got. Thank you.